So after we've calculated these strata boundaries and converted them to a polygon, a step I've not covered in the video, but it's covered in the lab instructions, if I open this polygon layer for my strata, I can see I have the grid codes here for each of these polygons. So ones for the fairly flat areas, twos for the intermediate, and threes for the steep areas. And now I want to assign a higher density depending on the type, but I'm going to do it on a per polygon basis. So I want a certain number of my total number of samples in the steep areas. I want it weighted to the steep areas, but per polygon. So smaller polygons are going to get a smaller number, even though they're going to get a higher proportion than an equal size polygon in these flat areas. Still, I might want to put of the 714 in the steep, only a few in these and most of them in these big polygons. So I have to calculate then on a per polygon basis the target number of samples for each of those. And that's described in the lab. Now I need to calculate the area of each polygon. And I have this shape area, but I want to work in square kilometers. These are in square meters, so I could just do the conversion. Or I could add the geometry attributes using the new column creation and then the calculations as we've shown before. Or I can use a tool, a data management tool, that allows me to add these geometry attributes directly. So they're commonly enough done that uh, ARC has seen fit to create a special tool for adding geometry attributes. So I give it the input features, the strat polys, and then the geometry properties that I want. So I could add all of these at once or some numbers of them, the central point coordinates, centroids. So it's useful to know of this. That's why we're covering it here rather than showing you or expecting you to do it one of the ways we've already taught you. So I'm going to elect for area. And I could, you see here, add more if I wanted. I'm not going to. This is the only one here. And I want the units here to be then in kilometers. So the area units will be in square kilometers. And the coordinate system I'll just leave as is. So I can go ahead and run. And it will then go ahead and add this poly area. So now I have this value here in square kilometers. So these bigger ones are these 295 and 255. Those are the large polygons down to the smaller polygons that have hardly any square kilometers. Useful tool to know if you want to calculate area or geometric attributes of your features. You want to find the centroid or a point in each of your features, you can use this add geometry attribute.